Hey there! I hope you're doing well. I have a pour that I did already and as you can see my table is wet with drips and dirty looking but I had to use up the colors that I had left because um, there are the beautiful peacock colors and I just couldn't let this opportunity pass me by. So I am going to do a pour and I've got one more color I'm going to mix for you just so you see how I do it. I'm going to add metallic orange to the mix. So what I'm going to do, this is about a three ounce cup. So I'm going to put a little over an ounce of the metallic orange. And then I use Oatrol Easy Flow and you can use Floetrol. They're pretty much the same thing. Oatrol graciously gives me the free product to use to demo for you. And I actually really love Oatrol better than I do Floetrol. It's more, uh, it has a little bit more sheen, it's a little bit more self-leveling. So I just really like it a lot better than I do Floetrol. But it doesn't mean that I don't use Floetrol and they are the same thing. So you just do the same ratio of one to one. Same exact ratio. So you mix that paint up and usually with Artist Loft and especially metallics, they're going to be on the thicker side. So it takes a little mixing. And so I've got my one to one ratio and I've got a bottle of water here. It's got water, 90% water, 10% Oatrol. Or if you're using Floetrol, same difference, 90% water, 10% Floetrol. And that makes your water just a little bit easier to mix into your paint mixture. And I know that this is going to be a full cup because this paint is really, really thick. And I may have actually mixed a little too much for this size of cup. But that's okay. I will add as much water as I can into it to get it to the consistency I need. But I do want it on the thicker side. And that's still too thick. So I'm going to kind of push it right to the brim here. What I'm going to do is a sink strainer pour because I love doing those and I wanted to do it with the metallics today just for the fun of it and I have a round canvas which always leans itself towards a sink strainer pour or a tree ring pour so I'm going to do the sink strainer pour because it will hopefully do well with the uh, sink strainer and then I've got OGX coconut milk anti breakage serum one drop, not a pump, just one drop. The key ingredient is dimethicone and that is what you're looking for. And uh, if you can't find that, if you're looking in hair products and lubricants, dimethicone is the magic ingredient. So I've got about the same amount of colors, a little less of the purple here. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll add a little bit more. This is the uh, color shift called Purple Flash. And I added what I had left of my Artist Loft Metallic Purple. So I'm going to try to get out what I can of this beautiful, beautiful color shift paint from Folk Art. It's really kind of thick. So I'm having to coax it out of the bottle here. Just add a little bit more to my cup here. So all of these are mixed one to one with the Oatrol and then they've already had the OGX added to them which you don't really want to stir too much so I'm not going to stir it any more than I have to. So that's Artist Loft Metallic Purple and the Folk Art Purple Flash. This is my favorite Sapphire Deco Art Extreme Sheen Artist Loft Metallic Orange that I just did. Uh, this gold here is Deco Art Elegant Finish Metallic Emperor's Gold, which I love. This is a 10 ounce container. And then this one is Artist Loft Metallic Phthalo Green. So those are the colors I'm using. And I also have black, which I decided I would throw into the mix just to throw in a deep bit of contrast every so often. 
and possibly in case I needed it around the edge here. So I think what I'm going to do, and this is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, and I do the same as I do all my other colors or paints. I mix it one to one with Oatrol or Floetrol and add water. When it says flow acrylic, it's not made to pour out of the bottle and use right away. You have to mix it like you do every other paint. So I think what I'm going to do is go around the outskirts of this with the black. I'm just going to use my fingers. And I've got push pins on the underside of this canvas, but it's a round canvas that came from Hobby Lobby. There's no silicone in the black, but this will help the paint just flow a little better. But I'm not worried about it being even or, you know, perfectly level or anything like that. So I'm going to start with the black base. Got a piece of animal fur there. We'll find hair. That's very common in this house. So I'm just going to pour in puddles. But I'm going to put a metallic gold or copper between each layer just to give it some separation. And it has silicone in it so it's not going to be perfect as far as the shapes go. And I forget the orange. Oh my goodness. Totally forgot the orange. I'm missing a petal. I'm just going to stick one in. So that orange is really gaudy. <laughs> That's okay. Now, since I don't really care for the orange and it's not really a flower shape and there's cells going on, I think I'm just going to stretch the heck out of it one way or the other and go back this way. So since I really dislike the orange so much, I'm just going to attempt to do something to help camouflage it and let your palette knife fall into the paint. That'll work too. So I'm going to take my credit card here. So I like, I like this. I'm going to turn this around. I've got a ton of paint on the table. It, it's going to have to dry because it'll be some beautiful skins. So I really just have black and copper left. Okay, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> Started as a sink strainer pour, but did not end anything like a sink strainer pour. But it's interesting. I had to add the gold. I don't know. It just, that blue is so gorgeous though. It is so gorgeous. So I got all this paint on the table. So this sits up higher than the paint so it can dry and make beautiful, beautiful skins. It'll take days for it to dry, unfortunately. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check all the links below. 
Amazon, PayPal, Patreon, my Facebook group. Check them all out and join me through social media. You can also come to my website and email me there if you need to or whatever. I just want to connect with you um, in a more personal way. So thanks for being here. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.